When this icon is highlighted, we're in tab to transients mode. I can enable it by pressing Command Option Tab. That toggles it on or off. We've already seen what happens when it's off and I press the Tab key. I go to the next edit point. And by the way, Option Tab will get me to the previous edit point. But what does Tab to Transient do? Well, Tab to Transient lets the Tab key move me to the next transient or the next peak point in a waveform. Now let me show you a particular example of where I might want to use Tab to Transient. It's especially useful when creating loops, and that's what I want to do now. I have a section of my overhead microphones that I want to turn into a loop. And since I recorded to a click track, I'm in grid mode, I've selected four bars, and this is the loop. Let's listen to it. Well, that feels like a good solid loop, but I'm cutting off the beginning of the cymbal crash. You can see if I zoom in, you can see there's a little bit of the cymbal crash I'm cutting off there, and I'm also getting a little fragment of the next crash, might be a hi-hat or something there. What I really want to do is loop from here, a little before what I've got selected, and cut off a little before there. But how do I find out exactly where to do it? Well, this is where tab to transient comes in. Let me hit the left arrow, to move to the beginning of the range. And I'm gonna put my cursor just somewhere before and press the tab key. And I tab twice and I got to this mark right here. That's a transient that's been identified by Pro Tools. And I'm just going to press the B key to separate right there. So now I have my four bars, let's see. Okay, so somewhere before here I want to cut so let me place my cursor right there, and I'll press tab, tab, one more time, actually a couple more times, let's say right there, and press B. And now let's see what this sounds like. So we're not directly on the grid, as you can see, we're a little off the grid. Let's see if it worked. see that we got a perfect loop here and now I haven't trimmed off the beginning of that symbol crash I've got it right at the transient mark and that's why tab to transient is so useful when you're editing waveforms you want to make sure your cuts are at transient points and you enable tab to transient tab right up to where you want and make your cut tab somewhere else and maybe make another cut or a selection and once again, you don't have to cut. I can just be tabbing. In fact, I can hold down the shift key and tab or two bars. A perfect loop every time with tab to transient.